Welcome back, this is Yammer Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Desolation Suicidal. I said I'd order some food, and I did. Here we go. I ordered, uh, some sushi. My sister had a, uh, a yam roll. I'm yawning a lot. I tried to mute myself when I yawn, but... Sometimes I want to not mute myself, so you know that what I'm doing when I'm doing this silence is, is typically yawning. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I ordered some some sushi. I had uh, a dragon roll, which is uh, like California roll with eel. Really good, really good. Loved it. Um, of course, I had my, my kappa roll, the, the cucumber roll, and a bit of miso soup. Um, we had some tempura. Some seafood and vegetable tempura. My sister had a uh, yam roll. My mom got some spring rolls. My father had apparently eaten enough. He was he was content, but the rest of us definitely were. We were hungry. I was anyway. I didn't eat much. Apparently, uh, the rest of my family did. I didn't. Uh, I didn't find there to be very much food there. <laughs> I was I was the last one to get my food, but. I didn't find there to be too much food. Again, it was only like meat and potatoes, like literally just meat and potatoes. It wasn't a particularly noteworthy dinner anyway. Tate, like the, what I had was good. It was, there was just really just like not much. <laughs> um, but apparently they all uh, they all ate like enough to, to be reasonably content and, and satiated. I definitely had not. I definitely had not done that. We got a call from my uh, my grandfather. Apparently, he had forgotten to give us our gifts, which is just money. It's just an envelope full of money. I don't know how much money. T typically, a uh, you know, like I don't, an amount that you'd spend on a gift, but just the money, which is I mean, it's the best. If you're gonna give somebody a gift, that's the best gift you can give, in my opinion. I mean, I get to go and spend it on what I want instead of you having to go out and pick something I don't care about. But uh, it, it was kind of funny because it was it was like just after I finished recording this and being like, yeah, it was nice. Like we didn't have any uh, any gifts. It was just a nice relaxing time. My uh, my grandfather calls and he's like, well, I forgot to give you your gifts. I'm like, oh, oh, well, I actually uh, I quite liked that uh, we didn't go over that process. In fact. I was quite uh, content with that, but like I've kind of explained recently, it's not—it's not worth with uh, with them. It's not worth trying to change their values on it or whatever. They want—they want to give me money, then like, you know, I'll take it. It's—it's not—it's not worth the the argument. It's past that point now, you know. For you guys, it's, uh, it's Christmas. This video goes up on the 25th of December. For me, it's still Christmas Eve. It's not uh, not quite Christmas. Next video, I'll uh, I'll be excited about Christmas. But I won't be really. Um, it does it's 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 weird. Cause I was sitting at their house today for for Christmas Eve, and it was like uh, it didn't feel like Christmas. You know what I mean? Like, like, did anybody else kind of get that this year? Like, it just doesn't really feel like Christmas. Like, I had my mask. I had... We were, we were like, socially distanced. Like, like it, just, it just didn't really feel very Christmassy so much, you know? But, such is life in 2020. We're coming up on 2021. Incredible. A year of just like what the heck this is a possible thing that can happen to us Come see me. The pod's safely open. the year of corona is almost over on to the year of the second uh, wave of corona apparently there's a vaccine for it getting approved over in uh, in like a lot of countries now Canada has one approved America has one approved those are the only ones that I know about but like that's because I don't like know many people in other countries <laughs> I, mean, I know I have friends in like you know you name a country I I probably got a friend uh, who's been to it you know what I mean like I got friends all over the world but 
I don't have enough friends in like, you know, Nigeria to know about the current state of affairs over there with uh, with regards to COVID vaccines. It's not uh, it's not as prominent in the news, you know. Whereas America definitely is. Got a lot of friends in America. Got a lot of friends in Canada. I myself live in Canada. I, I tend to keep up on Canadian news to at least some degree, anyway. Well, there's vaccines out. We don't know. Uh, they don't. They don't know if it's gonna like how long it'll last, or you know, like there. There's a lot of you know. Yep, yeah, we've uh, kind of moved up the whole testing it, making sure it's safe thing. Uh, we're just gonna run with it. <laughs> I read the. I read the the announcement of it. Like, typically it takes about three years for us to approve this one, but we moved this one to three months. I'm like, right. Well, I certainly know that there was a reason it was three years before. And now it's three months. You can't get the same work done in three months. Like, that's all I'm saying. So I don't, I don't think too many people are going to be getting deathly ill from it, you know? People are probably going to be doing fine. The, uh, the issue is uh, is with people who have like poor immune systems, people with um, who are like at risk of uh, illness, um, and then also just like the effectiveness of it, right? Like those are kind of the main things that that you're kind of worried about with testing a vaccine. Like ultimately, I mean, you just you know you know what you do for a vaccine, right? Like if you're if you're a medical scientist person or whatever. You get a disease, and they're like, I need a vaccine for this disease. You, you know what you, you gotta do with it, right? Maybe it you you, you kind of know, like, the, most of the... I'm not, I'm not uh, you know, I'm not into medicine myself or anything, but, but I imagine most of the time spent on making a vaccine for something is spent on, like, testing the vaccine, making sure that this one doesn't have some weird effect, making sure that... You know, because who knows? Who knows? Maybe you find some weird disease that even though it's like a non-active, you know, component of it that, that helps give you a... It helps build up your, your sort of like immune system's resistance to, to this, you know, who, who knows? Maybe you find some, some weird mutation thing that just like reactivates itself when it's, you know, combined with, with human blood or something. With, with like some strains of human blood, you know, like, like who knows? Who, who, who knows what can go wrong like so many so many things can go wrong we don't know everything like about how the world works right like we we have an idea of, uh, of some things that could go wrong and we test for those and I, I imagine that that's the majority of the time when it when it comes to vaccines these days and again I don't know what I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking on my butt but like I, I assume the recipe for like making a vaccine for for you know, this or that or whatever, like, it's probably the same for, for almost any disease. You know, or at least fairly similar, it's just a matter of, you know, testing it, finding the right components of it that are actually gonna, like, do the things that you need and making sure that it's actually gonna last and make sure that it's not changing a whole bunch and, like, finding all, like, all of that kind of stuff is gonna take time, but... From, from, like, a kind of basic level, like, you get a vaccine, you got, you got a disease, make a vaccine, like, I imagine... You're good, right? So, like, whatever vaccine they're pushing out is probably fine. It is uh, a little concerning, but I mean, COVID is a lot of concerning. So <laughs> you know, pick your pick your poison, right? I definitely go for the, the the little concern for sure. Any day of the week, you know. Can't wait until COVID's over. Honestly, it's gonna be just like such. It'll, there'll, there'll be a day. You know what I mean? There'll be a day when uh, when COVID is over, right? Because because at a certain point, the the announcement will have to be made, right? Like, okay, we're safe now. We can go back to you know business as business as usual. Is it's on now? You know, like. The, the actual process of, like, feeling safe, personally, going out and doing things, will probably not be an instant, just, like, one day you feel terribly unsafe, and then the next day you feel terribly safe. You know, like, it's probably going to be a more drawn-out process than that. But with regards to, like, the world being normal again, that'll probably be a day, right? It'll, it'll be a day, and, you know, who knows, maybe, maybe that day gets, like, celebrated, you know? Maybe that day will be a, like a celebration day, like the day that uh, 
that COVID was defeated. Officially. But you did it well. Who knows? Oh, yeah. you It'd be weird celebrating, like, COVID day, though, you know what I mean? Like, that'd be very weird. I'd do it, dude. I'd get down with that, alright? COVID day? You wanna, like, celebrate the day COVID was killed? Like, heck yeah, dude. Let's get drunk. <laughs> I'm down. Behind me. I'm not fooling for this again. Uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not concerned about, about, uh, COVID day so much. I hope we do have it, you know? But, uh, it is, it is gonna be weird when that happens, when that day eventually comes, when that day eventually, uh, shows up, and, and we have, uh, we have, we have to, like, get used to, to being normal again. Like, going outside, like, we're probably still gonna wear masks, you know what I mean? Like, there'll be an adjustment period after COVID's, like, you know, handled. And, and we're, like, officially, you know, like, yeah, you can, like, go back to your normal life. COVID is still around. It's not really a big problem anymore, though. You know what I mean? Like, there, there'll be a day. I don't know when it is. Okay? But there'll be a day eventually when they're, like, when all the countries all over the world are just like, yeah, you know what? I think we got it handled. Um, lockdowns are over. Quarantines are over, you know. We'll just go back to, to life as usual now. It's gonna be so weird getting used to, like, not having to, like, sanitize your groceries and wear masks and stuff and it's like why why should you get used to not doing that you know what i mean like why shouldn't we be doing that anyway it's like it's clearly a good thing anyway that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to more in the future comment if you have to say merry christmas and i will see you tomorrow with episode 500 where we will be going into uh, a proper christmas video a proper christmas video indeed that's going to do it. So thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Hope you all are having a great day. Bye-bye. I'm going to bed, dude. I'm so tired.